Hey guys, Jared here with Parsi, here to show you how to insert your personal emails into Infusionsoft contact records automatically right in the recent email history section of the record. We'll also show you today how to upload any attachments you might send out to contacts directly to their file box with no additional effort on your part. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is create a mailbox. Now you can give this mailbox any name you'd like. It's really for your own thing. So I'll just call this my email attacher for Infusionsoft. And maybe I'll just put personal after that so I know that these are only emails uh, that I'm personally sending here or that my company might be sending. Then I'll click Save Mailbox. What you'll notice is this will create a new parser for me on the left-hand side. Uh, now you'll see that it says that it's waiting to receive an email. So I do need to send an email over there so that I can get everything set up. So I'll scroll down to the mailbox that I just created, copy that email address, and let me pull up a new email here. All right, and you might send this to yourself when you're first testing. I'm just going to put in uh, this person that I was using earlier as a test. And then do make sure that you paste uh, that you BCC Parsi. If you don't BCC Parsi, we won't know uh, about the email. So you got to loop us in on it with a BCC there. And then really you can say anything else you want here. So I'll click send. Then after a second or two, I can come back up and I can check to see if uh, the emails hit the server yet. So I click this link and indeed it has. You'll notice the status has changed from waiting to ready to be configured. So let me go ahead and click on the gear here and click on edit. And let's add a field. And it can be anything. Unlike other email parsing uh, that Parsi does for people where they're trying to grab first name, last name, email, phone, you know, all of these credentials from a specific lead that they've purchased or shopping cart order notification or uh, online appointment scheduler or online document signer, um, you don't really need you don't really need anything with this because we're just going to insert it into the email. But we'll go ahead and let's just say let's just say we want to grab this guy. Just highlight a word that looks good. Confirm, and we're ready to go. Cool. So now you go over and click on Configure Actions. We want to do something in Infusionsoft. If you haven't yet connected an Infusionsoft account, you can do so from the dropdown uh, under Create New One. I'm just going to use one that I've already been uh, testing with. Okay, so for our fields here, we're just going to say skip this field for this event. We'll click and expand our advanced options here. And most people are going to select just the two email address and map that to the Infusionsoft email field. And that's it. Now some people will want to, may choose to also try and grab the two name. Oftentimes it's not available. Sometimes it is, and in the event that it is, it could grab it for you. But it's definitely not a requirement to add these last two fields here. This is an optional thing. So what we're saying is uh, grab just the first word, map it to the first name, and find everything but the first word and map that to the last name. Okay, great. So I'll go ahead and save the contact settings. And then what I'll do is I'll come up and say attach email to contact record. And there's no configuration here. I just need to make sure I save it. And then one more item here, add email attachment to contacts file box. Now, if you'd like to have all attachments that you send go to the file box, go ahead and hit yes and save. If your email signature or other logos that you might have contained in your email are uh, perceived as attachments by recipients, uh, sometimes they are, you might want to filter those out so that those you know don't consistently continually get added uh, to the contact record of everyone that you email. You can negate those by saying if the file name uh, does not contain dot ping then go ahead and and upload anything else. So it's a filter. So it'll catch those ones and say, okay, anything else. If it doesn't contain ping, if it's a, a doc, a PDF, an Excel file, an MP3, uh, go ahead and go ahead and upload it. And then just make sure that you click save. 
Now those are all the required actions. Um, if you're not wanting to upload attachments, truthfully, you don't even need this guy. Now some people will want to do other things. They may want to complete a campaign goal that uh, applies a tag and does something else. They may want to run an action set or create a note inside Infusionsoft. There are certainly a lot of options here for you to do some very dynamic follow-up follow if you choose to. But let's move on and there are some key steps here. Just want to make sure that we don't leave anything out. So I'm going to click back to actions and I want to make sure that I turn these actions on. And then I'll go back to my email parsers and again I want to make sure that I turn this guy on. So now that this is turned on I can actually return to the inbox and I'll see I've got uh, I've got an email in here. It was skipped because it came in prior to being configured. So let me just go ahead and say reprocess email and hit yes. And then I'd better get signed in a new tab here into Infusionsoft. Okay, so here we are in Infusionsoft and I'm going to search, uh, uh, search for uh, my contact. Okay, so here's John Smith. If I scroll down, here's the email that I just sent. And you can see it's the email that I sent. You know what? I didn't do any attachments or else I'd show you it being an attached. Let's do one more test. Tell you what, here's what I'll do. I'll do a search and see if there's a Donald Duck in our system. There might be. Oh, no. All right, let's try Daffy. Too many tests. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to uh, get a new email going here. Let's do this. Let's put a token on it. Okay. And I need to BCC Parsi. And let's grab an attachment real quick so that we make sure that it grabs our attachment. Okay, perfect. So I'll go ahead and hit send. And let me return to Parsi just to help you guys uh, see where you can, yeah. So basically you can come right back to the inbox here. If you get to the main screen and you're wondering how do I get back there, let me just let this load. And uh, you'll go down to the mailbox and click this little inbox guy. And you can see there's Daffy. And if we expand it, below the email we'll actually see what Parsi did. Um, so it created a contact, it attached the email. Uh, into the history and uploaded to the file box. So let's look for Daffy real quick. And there's Daffy Duck. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I see the email that I sent him. Hey Daffy, how's it going? If I go to the file box, there's my sales proposal that I attached. So that is how you set up email attaching for Infusionsoft using Parsi. Thanks so much.